mind is so getting laid off from there and then start, was that a crazy leap starting your own kind of content production company or for sure I mean you think anytime you go out on your own yeah. it's always scary I mean I was 25 26 years old at the time and okay you know anytime you don't know where your next paycheck's coming from I think everyone who's been in that position can relate to the stress that yep. that can cause and how you know obviously I've worked with a number of video production guys and photographers over the years and talking to them you understand how long it takes to build your your network and and make those connections so that you have a steady stream of, of work coming in exactly um, a lot of that was actually centered around, around drones so that's to bring it back into how I ended up being in the in the shark man's place I think an important lesson that comes from this story uh, is, is important to how you end up kind of really walking your, your own path and, and following your intuition to ultimately live the dreams that, that you may have had or maybe didn't even realize that, that you wanted to fulfill. So sure. um, a lot of this had, this video production business had to do with drones and I had, you know, this was the early days of these things. They used to crash all the time. They were, and you had to hire like specialists, but the field wasn't that big. No, and you yeah. didn't have like turnkey solutions that just came out of a, a box, right? Like they were prone to, to failure, mechanical failure. Um, and I had the unfortunate luck of having some of these mechanical failures. So in one instance, I had one crash in downtown LA on a shoot for a big fashion brand that fell from a very high height. And, and these were, it, correct me if I'm wrong, so I worked on, I did have a commercial once, and this is before drones were, you know, like mm -hmm. every video content guy had yeah, one. They weren't like they were giant, videos. right? And they yes. had like a lot of 20 blades on, on it. They carried a, a actual size cam, like a red camera or something along those correct. lines, right? Yes. Yeah, so this is like a, this it's is, like the size of this table. This is one of those. Yeah, yes. okay, all right, all right. <laughs> They're monsters. Monster beast thing, yeah. like if it falls out of the sky, and it lands on you, you're probably dead. Yeah. Um, so that happened and you know, it was a pretty terrifying experience. Like, wow, that could have killed somebody, that could have altered my life permanently. It was like, okay, maybe I should pull back on, on doing this. Like the level of stress that comes from that is not something that you know, I'm gonna take lightly. Uh, I can't just like oh, sweep that under the rug, right? Yeah. And then Two weeks later, I was already scheduled to shoot for a TV pilot, and basically, I I had to film a, a motorcade of like supercars like coming up a highway out, out in Malibu, and I'm in position. I've got the drone there, and the cars come around the corner, start flying it up the canyon, and all of a sudden, it just drops out of the sky, and Next thing I know, there's smoke coming up from this canyon deep below, and it's like a, you know, it's a very steep slope. So I just grab a bottle of, of water, luckily, take off down the side of this hill, like literally busting through branches, like shred all of my clothes. I'm like bleeding everywhere, and I get to the wreckage of the drone, and it's literally sitting on a three foot by three foot piece of sand just surrounded by essentially a matchbox. And it, I just like break down right there, pour the water on it, put it out, and like basically had a complete breakdown. I was like, I am never going to fly one of these things again because the universe is telling me I'm not supposed to do this. <laughs> okay. And I called my dad and I said, Dad, you know the shark bands thing we've been talking about for a while? If you're down, I think that... So that was the moment we need to get this to go. Just a second drone crash and, and you were off. Yeah. Okay. And it was it was honestly like I was given one last break. It Got felt it. like this thing landing on this one spot, you know, if it had landed anywhere else, it could have started a forest fire and that would have been, you know, that would have been it for me. Mm -hmm.